of a business as far as its revenues and its costs and the stream of money you know at the end of a year okay I think and so okay anyway yeah I so mean you, it, it's, all, it's all it's all it's all accessible like any company out there that's traded in stock you can go look at this stuff and it'll, right it'll that's, tell you that's yeah. completely true you can go look at all that stuff um now, I'll narrow it down a little bit um I want to talk about income stream like that's that's it's really exactly what it says you know money coming in coming in and continuing to come in so it doesn't like even just come in once it just it continues to happen it's an income stream and one of the things that you would like to be able to do if you would like to compare uh, whether one, one thing is worth more than another thing and you do want to compare that because you always want to go for the thing that's worth the most is you would like to be able to pin an income stream down to a value at a certain time Okay, and that way you can compare, you can put everything at the same time and then you can compare them all at that time. So you can't compare money now to money later. It has to be all at the same time. Either both monies have to be later or both monies have to be later. So this means we're going to take our income stream and we're going to put it in the future at some certain point. Alright, so here's how we do this. Suppose money is being transferred continuously into an account. Suppose money is being transferred continuously continuously that's a buzzword that means that we're going to have E in here continuously into an account Period over some time period, a time period, and time always starts at zero. So time will start from zero, and uh, little t is the guy that's changing. It starts and goes from zero all the way up to wherever you decide to stop, um, and that's going to be called capital T. And that's I think this notation is a little bit confusing, but capital T is some number that the problem tells you. You know a capital T by the time you do the problem. It's like 12 or something. Little t is like x, you never know him. It just kind of varies through the whole thing. Okay. So the, the money is transferred continuously over this whole time period um, at some rate that's given to you. At a rate <coughs> given by, and it's not that simple. It's given by this function, by the function f of t. And that may be constant and it may be e to the something that is what? That'd be this. Okay, that's all true. And uh, the account earns interest. at an annual rate of R. Uh, and R is compounded continuously. Future value is whatever I'm about to tell you. Okay. Then the future value is this stuff. Okay. Again, that's again. I'm going to tell you the point. E to the R capital T integral from zero to capital T of f of t. 
e to the minus r little t dt. Okay? Just tell that to your kids for a For rice. Okay. Um, that's just small, all right? Because this is the area of, this is the, you know how, remember Edith, remember PERT? <coughs> P-E-R-T? And remember how this future value is e to the minus rt? That's what this is. And that's multiplied by the rate that's going in. OK, and then you sum up the area underneath the curve, because each one of those little guys is a height of the amount that's in there. And you bring it all, um, if you join this, it's a concept work. Let's go up over. OK. <laughs> OK, let's do an example. OK. So here's our example. Let me be transferred. At a rate, at an annual rate of eight percent per year, compounded continuously. How much will be in the account at the end of two years? How much? Identify what parts of this problem match this formula and be able to stick some head and what that means. Well, hopefully, we recognize that this is a problem that we want to have a future value because it's saying how much will be. So that's future. Okay, so how much will be in the account at the end of two years? And it's going in at a constant rate. So it says rate, so that means we're going to use this integral guy. It didn't tell you P. It didn't say a principal amount is invested. Okay, so future value. <coughs> future value is equal to. Oh, I forgot my E. E to the RT. E to the RT. Okay, what do I know? I know R is equal to 0 0.08. I know capital T is equal to how much? Two years. Two. Two years. And the other thing that I need is f of my function, <coughs> f of t. Money's going in at the constant rate of 1,200. So that's how money was going in at a rate given by a function, f of t. So this, in this particular case, is a constant. Sometimes it's a function. Sometimes it's an e to the t stuff. All right, so now I'm ready. e to the 0.08 times two integral times integral from zero to two and f of t is one thousand twelve hundred times e to the negative point oh eight times oh just x or t Anything? 